please remember that the comment section is going to be filled with people pretending to be me to try to steal your money. Be careful with scams. There's scammers everywhere. This is a real problem that needs to be addressed before anyone else falls victim to what's going on. YouTube scams have become increasingly common, especially on personal finance videos. Usually, they start by you being asked to contact some sketchy number on WhatsApp. Then, the scammer will convince you that they have a once-in-a-lifetime money-making opportunity, after which you would send them some crypto as an investment. And bam, you never get your money back. And this is a real problem. Current solutions, like blocking certain keywords from the comment section, are limited because scammers avoid this by adding extra spaces and punctuation into their comments. I want to make a project that identifies comments written by scammers and then perform some action given this information. Basically, this is a diagram of what I want to accomplish. I will gather a list of scam and normal comments, use machine learning to train a model to be able to classify a new comment as a scam or as a normal comment, and then perform some action if the comment is a scam. We could report it to YouTube for instance, or leave a friendly comment saying, hey, this is a scam, don't fall for it. This video will have some high-level technical details with plenty of explanations, so viewers without a technical background will still find it interesting. I will use the YouTube Data API, which allows me to retrieve comments from a video as well as leave my own comments through code. For the first portion of the video, I will use a Jupyter Notebook to run my Python code. I will paste a list of imports we will need and write a function to show you how powerful the YouTube API is. Uh, the function will let us get information about a YouTube channel. For this, we just need to specify a channel ID. Let's try it on my channel. And that seems correct. We have about 2,000 subscribers and 200,000 total views. And we did this in just a few lines of code. Now I'll write a function to get a list of all comments from a specific YouTube video. All we have to specify is the video ID, which we can get from the video URL. Keep in mind that this function doesn't just fetch the top level comments. It fetches the replies to those comments as well. So let's try it on a random Graham Stefan video. And there you go, we see a bunch of comments from the video, many of which appear to be scammy. Let me write another function that will get a fixed number of comments from multiple videos and save it to a CSV file on my computer. For our common dataset, I'll use one video from each of the following six channels, all of which are in the personal finance niche and often see scam comments. Downloading all the comments from those videos takes a while, so I'll just skip to the end result. If we open this file in Excel, we would only see the first column. What I did is I read every comment and labeled it as a 0 or 1. A 1 means it's a scam, and a 0 means it's safe. In total, I had to manually label 1200 comments, so that our machine learning model has data to learn from. If this hard work doesn't deserve a like on this video, I'm not sure what does. Great. Now, I will clean these comments by removing punctuation. I will also convert everything to lowercase. Now we can make our NLP model. NLP stands for Natural Language Processing, and it allows a computer to analyze human language. I will link some resources in the description of this video for you to learn more, but essentially we're splitting our common dataset into a training set and a testing set here. We train our NLP model on the training data, and then see whether it is working well on the test data, which is data it has never seen before. This training just takes a few seconds. Let's look at the results. So all 65 non-scam comments in the test set were classified correctly. From the 32 scam comments, 29 were classified as scam and 3 as non-scam. This is pretty good. I think it's better to miss a few scam comments than flag a perfectly safe comment as a scam and confuse a genuine subscriber. This result is pretty promising. The hard work is done. Now I'll write a single function that takes a comment, cleans it, and tells us whether or not it's a scam. I saved our NLP model that we just trained to my computer, so all this function has to do is load the model and use it to classify the input comment. Now let's try some fake comments. So first I'll try a genuine comment, and my function says it's not a scam, which is good, uh, but if I input a WhatsApp number, it says it's a scam. Even if I don't include a phone number or add a space between what's and app, it is still convinced this comment is a scam because the model saw the word WhatsApp appear in most scam comments. 
Before we continue, please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. I regularly make interesting tech videos that I think you'll enjoy. Only 6% of my viewers are subscribed, so please help me get this percentage up. I was curious, what were the comments that our model failed to correctly classify? So I wrote some code to find out. One of them has just a phone number, so the model isn't aware that a bunch of numbers can indicate a scam, since we only looked at words when we trained our model. The two comments at the bottom are difficult to detect as well, because they don't have any specific words that indicate it's a scam. Our NLP model can't find meaning in text. It only seeks patterns, and since these two comments at the bottom seem pretty normal in terms of the words used, it thinks they're safe. As mentioned before, this is not a huge deal, and our classification accuracy for scam comments still exceeds 90%, which I'm very happy with. Now it is time for us to do something when we find a comment that is a scam. So I copied my isScam function into this Python file and wrote a function called runAnalyzerOnVideo, which looks through all comments in a particular video and checks whether or not any of them are scams. Then it calls the handle scam comment function, which replies to the original scam comment and says to the viewers, hey, this comment may be a scam based on my machine learning model, so be careful and do not contact any phone numbers that you see listed. So here, just exercise caution and use your best judgment. Um, and uh, this will allow any viewers who may be confused to see, ah, this comment is probably a scam, I'll do my best to avoid it. Uh, so let's run this and see what actually happens. First, I need a video ID of the video that I want to run the scam detector on. So I'm going to choose one of Graham Stephan's older videos. Uh, and then I have to go to this link and enter an authorization code, which allows my YouTube account to be used by this program to leave a comment because you need a YouTube account to be able to leave a comment. So I'm going to do that. And now it's done, the program finished running. So let me go to my Google profile and actually see what happened. As you can see, we left a bunch of comments on this Graham Stephan video at 4.57, so about a minute ago, so we know it was our program. So let's look at some examples. So here, we left one comment, as you can see, we say, hey, this fake Andre Zhik account is likely a scam, and we see the comment above is obviously a scam, it's asking someone to contact a WhatsApp number. Here's another example where it's a fake Graham Stephan account, asking for a very similar thing, and again, our scam detector worked flawlessly, and left a comment below the scam. If you follow Follow the GitHub link in the video description, you'll see the Jupyter Notebook with all of the code. It also has some useful links for you to get your own API keys to be able to use the Google API. Uh, so after the Jupyter Notebook, we also have the common data set that includes all of the comments as well as the labels, uh, so that you can try training your own model on this instead of labeling everything from scratch. Uh, then we have the Python code that actually leaves the comments below every scam comment. And lastly, we have the scam model and vectorizer files, which are generated by the Jupyter Notebook and are used to classify the comments as scam or not scam. While I could certainly take this project further and build a better model, as well as some user-friendly software for YouTubers to use, there appears to be a solution to the scam comment issue that already exists. Just a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by this website and I've never used it myself. However, if they do what they say they do, it could be a super useful service for YouTubers who have scam comment problems. The website uses AI to detect scammers and remove those comments autonomously. It seems like they also have some sort of NLP model trained on some data that is very good at finding scam comments. They even use the YouTube API for this, much like we did. You can find more information in this article that I'm also going to link in the video description. It appears that some popular YouTubers use it, uh, particularly investing YouTubers, so maybe it's worth trying out. On that note, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more of my videos, watch one of the videos you see on your screen now. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing, and have a great rest of your day.